welcome or welcome back to my channel. In my last video, we tackled an outdoor space, my back patio. It turned out bomb. If you have not seen that video, I will link it up in the card somewhere in this area for you to check that out. Today, we're working on another outdoor space, which is my guest bedroom balcony. It's super tiny, but I think we can make it a little boho oasis. So the guest bedroom that this balcony is off of is our home office. It also doubles as a guest bedroom. I work here half of the week and I love having this outdoor space just to get some fresh air throughout the day. The dog loves to sunbathe and people watch out there. It really is a super cute space and I wanna make it comfortable, relaxing, everything that a balcony should be, but on a budget. So if you're interested in seeing how I transform this tiny guest bedroom balcony, stay tuned. Welcome to my tiny six by six balcony off of my guest bedroom. We're gonna start by sweeping off cobwebs and any dust or dirt. Not my favorite part, but glad to get it out the way. And I'm gonna start my decorating by adding this rug. I grabbed this $40 rug off of Wayfair. It was on sale. I am in love with this rug. I thought it was gonna be lighter, but I'm not mad at the color that it is. I really, really love the pattern and it's a great focal point for this small space. Next, I'm gonna be adding this hammock chair. I picked this up off of Amazon. I will put a link for everything that I purchased on Amazon or any stores that you guys could probably grab down in the description box below, so be sure to check there and subscribe if you're enjoying these makeovers. I have enlisted the help of my very handsome little brother to install this hammock chair. It's a really good idea to have a spotter when you're doing work up high on a balcony or anything of that nature just to make sure you're being safe this is my spotter um, i'm very thankful for his help and for his height because i'm five foot two and while i have a tall personality tall personality was not getting this chair installed into the ceiling so he's installing the base you do have to use a wrench if you're screwing into wood and the majority of this structure is wood so we are screwing these into the wooden base. I'm just showing you here what that looks like. And then we're going to hang the chair. Now for this makeover, I had a few things in my home that I wanted to repurpose for this space. I am 100% for recycling and upcycling old furniture, old things just to make them new again and to keep them from ending up in a landfill. So I'm gonna show you one upcycle project and two DIYs. So let's get into the DIYs. For our first project, we're just going to be spray painting this old sofa table that I picked up from at home for 20 bucks to match the decor. It's got this really beautiful flower pattern on the top, which I think goes perfectly with the rug. For project number two, we are making our own fairy light lantern. I'm taking an old mason jar I had lying around the house and these fairy lights left over from my wedding. I wish they were a warmer color, but we'll use them anyways. I'm just gonna turn that light on and wind these lights down into the jar. 
Um, this has a very bendable wire that will hold its shape. And once I get them in there, I'm just gonna glue the end piece of the wire to the cup to secure it. And I'm gonna use two of these fairy lights just to fill the jar completely. Once the jar is filled with the lights, we're just gonna glue the battery with the opening side down towards the jar to the top of the lid and we will have our fairy light lantern. For DIY 3, we are making our own curtain tie backs. I love macrame cord and wooden beads, so that's what we're using for this project. I'm gonna take these beads and string them onto this macrame cord. I didn't end up using those smaller beads because they just wouldn't fit on the cord, but I did create the pattern that I was looking to make and then just strung them onto the macrame cord in the order that I wanted them to sit on the curtain. So I'm stringing these beads on. Once I get them all on, we are going to cut the cord to length. You can do this first, but I did it after. I'm cutting my length of cord to about 22 inches. Once the cord is cut, I'm gonna center the beads on the cord. Easiest way to do that is to fold them in half and make sure they're about even. Then I am going to secure the beads in place by tying a knot right before the first and last bead. And then I'm going to tie a loop onto both ends of the cord. So that was all for day one. Now it's time to get into day two, which is setting up all of our lights and all of the decor. So just to remind you of what we accomplished yesterday, we installed our rug and this beautiful hammock chair. They're looking great. And so now it's time to install the curtain rods and curtain lights that I picked up from Amazon. I'm starting by checking to make sure I'm securing everything into wood everything checked out here i put the curtains on both sides at the same level which really doesn't make any sense because they can't sit that way so i did end up having to go back and lower the curtain on the right side so that it sat below the curtain on the left side once i did that they both sat just fine but you can see here i had that little trouble so i moved that one down secured the curtains and these were just some old curtain rods i had around the house I spray painted them black, they used to be silver, and now they have a new home. Now I'm installing the fairy lights that I have for the curtains. I'm just using some black hooks from Amazon, link will be down below. I'm gonna use three hooks to secure them over this particular curtain rod. I'm only gonna do this side because I don't wanna obstruct my entire view. And then we're just gonna let these bad boys hang. Now that the curtains and lights are installed, I'm going to take our DIY tie backs and install the curtain tie backs with some hooks. Loving how elevated the space looks with these curtains. Moving on to the side without the hanging lights, I'm gonna be installing these succulents with these macrame planters. I grabbed these from Amazon and I'm just using the hooks that came with the macrame planters. Last but not least, I'm installing these solar powered lights to our ceiling. I grabbed these during Prime Weekend. I put the solar panel on the front or side of our house, depending on the side that the lights were on. And I just stuck them up with some 3M cable clips. With all the lights installed, now it is time to decorate. So I'm just placing our DIYs here. I think it's Oakley approved. 
This is a little poof I picked up from Amazon and another lantern that I picked up as well. It is solar powered. And finally, I am going to be adding a few finishing touches to this hammock area. I've got these waterproof pillows and waterproof pillowcases that I picked up from Amazon. Links will be down below. And last but not least, this black lantern that I picked up, which emits light, but it's actually for the purposes of repelling mosquitoes. So I wanna remind you of what this space looked like before. Just a bland, small six by six balcony. Doesn't look like much at all. And here is what the balcony looks like after. With just some lights and a little bit of decor, this space was completely transformed. And it took so little to make this transformation happen. It is officially my little boho haven. I can't wait to spend fall afternoons relaxing on the porch with a cozy throw and my puppy at my feet. And if you love how this space looks in the daytime, you'll really love it at night. It comes to life, it gives you warmth and coziness, all the feels. I am in love with this tiny balcony makeover. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I have so many more makeovers coming. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next makeover and hit that bell so you get notified when I post my next video. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you in my next one.